last recession, they had a moving statue down in, in County Kerry of um, their, their Blessed Virgin Mary that Catholics used to go down to, to watch move until, and this is serious, until somebody went down and attacked it with a sledgehammer, uh, prompting response by somebody else, why didn't she duck? <laughs> <laughs> the equivalent of that today is, is we have, uh, and for a new recession, we have a tree stump in County Limerick that people uh, believe contains the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, crowds again going down to see it. Um, and as somebody on the internet said when a photograph of the tree stump was published, well, if that's what she looked like, it's no wonder she was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a guy called Joe Coleman, who has, just in recent months, has been bringing thousands of people to knock where they're this one in these places where this woman is supposed to appear. And uh, on the basis that he's saying that, that she's going to appear and give the messages, which he doesn't reveal until such time, which happened last month, he published a book about it. Um, but it's quite dangerous that because he has people going down there staring into the sun and damaging their eyes. You know, it's, it's one of these things that, that, that in, in some cases, there's, you know, the, there's comical elements to all of this nonsense. But when it reaches the stage, it's actually physically harming people. You know, there, there should be some way that society can step in and, and say, no, look, that's, that type of behaviour is not accepted. You, you can believe what you want, but you can't act as you want. It's like the case recently where, where the, the Pope offered a special offer of a free plenary indulgences if you visited Lourdes within a certain time period uh, that will get you time off from purgatory after you die and get you into heaven sooner after you die. Now in any other uh, field of, of um, economic claims, because that's essentially what this is, it's a commercial claim that's asking people to, to spend money on something. In any other field, if you're making claims of that, you would have to be able to back them up or you wouldn't be allowed to make the claim. But religion has an exemption in that it can make the most extraordinary claims, even to, in this case, to sick and vulnerable people. And it's exempt from the normal strictures that society uses to prevent vulnerable people from being conned by uh, unsubstantiable claims 